Okay, proceed tayo sa next example natin which is 2m squared plus 8m is equal to 0. So, look at the example. So, first daw na procedure natin dapat nasa standard form. O, tingnan natin kung nasa standard form na siya. 2m squared plus 8m is equal to 0. ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So, ano ang napapansin? Walang value ng c. Pero okay lang kaya yun? Yes. As much as possible, ito ang dapat ma hindi mawala. etong value ng quadratic term. So, okay lang na wala tayong linear term, wala tayong constant term, as long as meron tayong quadratic term. So, how are we going to factor this example? So, uh, kung ganito ang example natin, hindi na natin kailangan hanapin ang value ng what? Ng constant term. Kasi wala naman tayong constant term. So, what are we going to do is to factor this out as easy as this. Ano ang factor ng 2 at ng 8 na magkaparehas? So, pwedeng 2 times 1. Ano yung sa 8? 4 times 2 or 8 times 1. Okay? So, parehas yung 8. So, hanapin natin dito yung may kaparehas na value. Which is yung 2. Bakit yung 2? Kasi kapag minultiply natin yung 2 sa 4, ang lalabas ay 8. Kapag minultiply natin ng 2 sa 1, ang lalabas ay 2. So, ang factor natin dito ay 2. Bakit nilagay ko lang dyan? Maglalabas kasi tayo ng factor. Okay? Isa lang ang magiging parenthesis natin. Hindi katulad kanina na dalawa. Since wala naman tayong constant term. Next, ano ang factor ng m squared at ng m? m times 1 is equal to m. m times m is equal to m squared. So, ano ang value or ano ang variable na pwede natin kunin? M lang. Bakit M lang? Kapag pinagmultiply mo yung M sa M, makakakuha ka ng M squared. Kapag minultiply mo yung M sa 1, M lang ang magkikisagot. So, itatabi natin yung M dito. So, 2 times M, ah, 2 M, yung magiging factor natin sa labas. Ano naman ngayon yung nasa loob? What you are going to do is to divide. 2 M, ah, 2 M squared divided by 2 M is M. Bakit? 2m squared divided by 2m. Ayan. 2 divided by 2 is 1. m squared divided by m is m. Bakit? 2 minus 1. Okay? Kaya naging m na lang ang sagot. Next, 8m divided by 2m. So, 8m divided by 2m. So, 8m divided by 2m is, wait lang, 8 divided by 2 is 4. So, m divided by m is 0. 1 minus 1, 0. So, ang natira na lang is 4. So, since positive naman to, ang sign niya, positive din yung ilalagay natin. Okay? So, naging 2m times m plus 4. So, paano natin malalaman kung tama yung factor natin? I-multiply mo lang sila. So, mayroon tayong 2m times m plus 4. Okay, lagyan natin ng 0. So, paano mo i-multiply ito? Multiply mo sila isa-isa. So, 2m times m, 2m squared. Tama? Next, i-multiply mo ulit yung isa pa. 2m times 4. 2 times 4 is 8. M, M lang. Copy na lang. Equals to 0. Same ba sila? Yes. Therefore, ang factor niya ay 2M times M plus 4. O, na-factor na natin sila. What are we going to do next is the apply the zero product property. So, paano natin i-proceed kung ganito ang e equation? So, copy mo lang ulit, equals 0. 
Next, copy mo lang ulit. Equals 0. So, next. I-divide naman natin yung 2 sa anong number. Para maging m lang siya. Sa 2, syempre. Bakit sa 2? Para kapag dinivide mo siya, 1 ang magiging sagot. Okay? So, 2 divided by 2 is 1. So, anong natira? M na lang. So, 0 divided by 2 is 0. Tandaan po, kapag nasa taas ang 0, 0 ang sagot. Pag nasa baba ang 0, kung ano man yung value nyan, yun yung magiging sagot. So, the value of M is 0. How about this one? M plus 4 is equal to 0. So, paano natin matatanggal to? Paano magiging 0 na lang yan? Sa so, syempre, magsusubtract tayo ulit ng 4. Kung nagsubtract ka sa left side, ganun din sa, sa right side. So, M is equal to negative 4. So, meron ka ng dalawang answer. And to check if these answers are right, kailangan natin na what? I-check by substitution. So, what, what is the value of M? The first value is 0. The second value is negative 4. So, M is equal to 0 and negative 4. So, substitute natin siya dun sa original equation natin, which is ito. So, 2M squared plus 8M is equal to 0. Okay. So, substitute natin where M is 0 daw. Oh, 